In this video, we're going to learn about the mirror equation. The mirror equation is an equation that's used to calculate the distance of an image that is produced when light reflects an, off an object um, into a mirror. We're talking about curved mirrors, and this is an example of a concave mirror. These are also known as spherical mirrors. This is our object represented by this arrow, and these red lines are representing the rays of light that are bouncing off of the object, hitting the mirror, and then coming back uh, and reflecting. This point right here is called the focal length or focal point of this mirror. And the focal length is one half of the radius of this mirror. If we were to complete this and create a circle, the focal length would represent half of the radius. So light reflects off of the object, and so we have light that's traveling towards the mirror, and any light ray that's going to go parallel to this principal axis, this just cuts right through the middle of the mirror, runs perpendicular to the surface, any uh, light ray that goes parallel to that is going to bounce back through the focal point. And then any ray that goes through the focal point bouncing off the object, it's going to be reflected back parallel. And the image is going to be located where these lines intersect. This is going to represent the top of the image, so that would be the point of the arrow, so I can draw that in just like that. Now, we can calculate how far this image is away from the mirror, and we can also calculate how tall this image is using the mirror equation. So this is the mirror equation. Uh, that's the top one right here. This is kind of a second part to the mirror equation. This is called the magnification equation. Now, we really use these equations together when we're solving problems. And I'll tell you what the different variables mean here. So this is the object distance, this one is the image distance, and this one is the focal length of the mirror. And then the magnification right here is a ratio that compares the height of the image to the height of the object. And magnification can be solved two ways. We can use the height of the image and object or the distance of the image and distance of the object. So let's try using these equations to solve a problem. So this says a concave mirror has a focal length of 10 centimeters and an object is 18 centimeters away from the mirror and the object is 9 centimeters tall. Determine the image height and the image distance. So I've gone ahead and sketched this situation just so we kind of visualize what's going on here and used a ray diagram to represent the object which is right here and then the image that is produced and we're going to use the magnification equation and the mirror equation to determine the height and the distance so let's start with the distance so here's our mirror equation and we're going to solve for the image distance and that's this guy right here so I'm going to subtract 1 over do from both sides so it's going to get rid of it here it's going to move it over to this side and so I end up with this, and now I'm just going to go ahead and plug in the numbers here. So I have 1 over the focal length of 10 centimeters, and 1 over the object distance of 18 centimeters. That's right up here. Now, I can literally just plug into my calculator if I want 1 divided by 10, and then subtract that one from 1 divided by 18, and I would end up with... 0 0.0444 and this is representing 1 over the image distance so I would just need to take the inverse of this number right here or just take 1 divided by that number and I'm going to get a 22.5 centimeters and that's going to be the image distance alright now that I have the image distance I can go ahead and use the magnification equation to solve for the height of the image so here is my equation to solve for the height of the image. So really I just need to multiply both sides by the height of the object. So I'm going to rearrange this and I end up with this and I can go ahead and plug in all of the numbers that I know. So I know the image distance, I just solved for that right here. And the height of the object is given to me in the problem, it's 9 centimeters. And the distance of the object is right here, 18 centimeters. And I end up with a height for the image of negative 
three centimeters, and that negative sign carries all the way through. This is really important because since I end up with a negative value, that means the image should be opposite, facing opposite or upside down compared to the object, which it is. When I drew the picture, I could see that it's upside down and that's what that negative sign is representing. And so that is the mirror equation.